Hi and uh, welcome back to Settled Carlisle 68 and uh, my Engage layout Westmoreland and uh, it's a couple of weeks since the last video so there's quite a bit happened uh, since then and uh, in the normal fashion we'll just have a quick rundown of what's been done since uh, since the last video so as you'll see uh, all of this embankment has been uh, applied with uh, with scenics uh, much in line with what's been done previously um, this rock face has been weathered up and uh, scenics applied over the top um, the uh, tunnel portal hasn't yet been fitted but uh, all of the scenics just above the tunnel portal has been finished and uh, along side and then all above the, um, the quarry has been completed as you can see i've added some stones and then uh gone over the top um to try and uh look like the uh, the grass and uh, weeds and so forth has, has grown over the top so i'm pleased with that and uh, and then we come down at the side of the quarry this rocky outcrop and then to this uh to this series of, of rock faces here uh, not done the underneath the rocks yet, but uh, all the rock faces have all been weathered and uh, scenics applied, and also on top as well, which I'm pleased with. Um, yeah, so that's all, all complete. Um, and then just uh, just going down the side of the layout, you can see I've added this. Uh, three millimeter ply I think it is uh, just front capping on the layout so this covers all of the uh, the nasties that are underneath the plaster of Paris and um, the uh, the foam and the and the uh, woodwork etc so I'll just cut that out to the contours of the uh, top of the layout fastened it on with screws and uh, give it a lick of uh, grey paint. So that now finishes, I think finishes the front of the layer off, which uh, was uh, my uh, my work for an afternoon last Saturday. Um, this is an area that I've changed yet again. Probably think I'm mad keep changing it, uh, but I just wasn't happy with the way it looked and I wasn't happy with the, the pub being in here. So I've done away with the pub. So I'm going to apply more scenery there. And then a winding road coming up to um, the workers' cottages. So I think they'll take more of a prominent feature of, of the layout with a small road in front and some cars parked, I guess. Um, but the main uh, addition to the layout is this quarry. Um, so done all the front quarry face, which you'll see in the later on the video how, how I uh, constructed that, and uh, the quarry building, and I've also done the uh, read on the track work. Uh, as you can see, the tracks are now running this way towards the quarry face. Previously, there were two lines running parallel with the uh, the line with the grey wagons, um, but it meant that the um conveyor was running down here because it was switched around the building so I've, I've now spun it 180 and the conveyor now leads towards the uh, the rock face so um yeah and uh, the reason for the quarry on the layout they were very popular and are still common on the settle to carlisle line there's quite a number of uh, uh, limestone quarries on the, the line uh, a lot have closed, but there's still one or two opening or, or open and some are about to reopen. Um, obviously far bigger in size than uh, my representation, but uh, um, I've tried to uh, to show um, a similar format with the tiered layers of the quarry and uh, the layer to the quarry. So, 
yeah, without further ado, we'll uh, we'll go into how I uh, constructed the quarry. And uh... okay, welcome to the building of the quarry part one. And uh, we're going to start off with the actual rock first. So for those of you who've watched the previous videos, you probably noticed that there was a rock face here previously and that was all painted up with grey primer. Um, it was made of about three or four layers uh, of uh, rock, um, but it was it was just straight down vertical. Um, so it didn't really look like I wanted to look um, as, as when I've studied quarry photographs. You've got several layers where they actually excavate the stone. So I'm obviously working with quite limited space, but what I'm going to try and do is have this first uh, layer. So we've got a, a road up to the first layer and then that'll you'll be able to go across the first layer. And then there'll be another ramp of rock to the second layer, which you'll be able to travel on the second layer for the excavation of this, this third top layer. So that's probably going to have to come out some more. So what I'm going to do is take this apart, uh, take it over to the workbench and start to carve out these bottom stones to get them to fit um, and get them closer fitted and, and matching. Uh, and then I will also carve in the um, the uh, the cracks and the crannies of the, of the rock and then I'll come back, glue that in place with... Uh, hot glue gun to the uh, to the plywood base and then we'll move on to the next layer so we're building up the the three layers okay so we've come back to the layout i've now put the second layer of, uh, of rock on top of the first layer uh, with the ramp now i don't know whether to put a ramp here up to the second layer but when i tried it didn't quite look right so for the moment i'll just put on the final um the final layer uh top layer so i'm just going to put some glue down here and then we'll see what that looks like uh, what i've started to do is i've put some little some small amount of carving but i'm thinking i'm going to finish the carving off with the with these in in situ, uh, so I'll just glue that in place. Because what we're going to actually do uh, once we've finished this top layer and it's all set is we're going to cover this top section up with um, some uh, plaster bandage, some mud rock. So I'm just going to put this last piece in. So more, um, more hot glue. This will be a lot stronger when we get the the the, uh, the plaster bandage on, and then I'll build this up with with uh, more um, more oh, more of the insulation foam. But um, the the plaster bandage will actually cover this section, so it'll all it'll all blend in. So we'll leave it there for the moment. We'll let all that set, and then come back and uh, put the uh, plaster bandage on. Okay, so we've finished uh, hot gluing all of the stones down, uh, all the rocks. Sorry. Um, so I'm just gonna. Blend this in with uh, plaster bandage now, and then I'll come back and finish carving the uh, the rocks up. So sorry if I'm getting away the camera, but there's not much uh, much option really. So I'm just going to layer this bandage over the top of the uh, the rocks to sort of blend blend it in. I usually put uh, a couple of layers of bandage just to uh, 
to give it more more strength. <laughs> Okay, so following on from laying the plaster bandage on the top of the, the rocks, we've done quite a bit. Um, so rather than go through that on the video, I just thought I'd update you where, where we're at. So basically the ramp that was here has been moved over to this side um, because we've had a, a fresh layout of the track, which you can't see at the moment. Uh, and the building has now got a new location in the, in the quarry area. So what did that allow me to do? So I decided to build this area up here with, uh, with, with rocks. So I used the same process of insulation foam. So this is the, again, the car foam and then just painted with, um, with gray car primer. So from the last video, there was no paint on any of the rocks. So all this was painted with uh, gray car primer. Um, and then I added um, a couple of products. So the first of those was the uh, medium mixed grey uh, stones. So obviously from WWS. So that's that's a selection of uh, small and medium sized stones. So what I basically did there, as you can see is, is lay the stones down on the on these surfaces um, as per what you tend to find in the quarries and uh, I then uh, added some uh, sand so some fine sand so that's uh, again another WWS product it's only sand at the end of the day but um, that comes in a convenient pot. So I just sprinkle that over the top um, to hide any gaps and lines in the rock. And then it just adds to uh, the effect of having the smaller stones. So then I used uh, a 50-50 mix of water and uh, PVA. And then just used a dropper to go over all of the uh, stones. Um, I then found it went a little bit sort of greeny coloured, uh, which I've not had before so I just went over again with the um with the car car primer uh, over over the rocks okay so I also did a little test on this this area with the scenics um which we're gonna run over the top here as well with some static grass I'm not gonna apply any or very little static grass and, and any greenery here um so what we're gonna do first is we're going to weather the rocks using um, a selection of weathering powders, which I'll, I'll show on the video, and then we'll move on to the putting the um, static grass at the at the top. So what I normally start with um, is the the black weathering powder. So this is the uh, WWS uh, black suit. So what I tend to do is just get a little bit on the on the brush. So I'm just using a number six brush. So I just get some out of the pot. Just put it in the in the lid. And then basically with the black, I'm just looking to pick up any sort of shadows on the rock, um, and or, or just pick up any any. Um, cuts cuts in the rocks so just following the lines on the rock and then just blend it in so I'm using a number I think it's number six flat headed brush so no need to go really heavy so so just have a bit in the in the pot just taking a little bit at a time and then just blending that uh, 
And so I actually run these across to follow the lines of the rock. Um, careful not to do it too hard, otherwise you you can actually um, drag bits of the Celitex away, which doesn't look good. You get the yellow Celitex underneath. So here I'm just going down the to emphasise the shadow in the groove of the rock. So again, just adding a little bit of time, not not too much. And again, just following the cracks and the fault lines in the rock, just applying it just a little bit at a time, not too much. you put too much and you can just go over and just dab it over um, okay so we want to the next section so the next weathering powder I'm going to put on is the uh, concrete dust so again just put some in the in the lid so I use this just to go over the black areas that we've done just just to tone down the uh, the black just add some different tones as well to the uh, to the rocks and also you can with the concrete dust it's a bit heavy um, you can also uh, do some streaking from the the upper level. So then the final bit that I use is just uh, quite a large sort of paintbrush and I just literally go over the whole rock that I've done. Let's just take the, uh, sort of the edge off the, uh, if, it's, if it looks too sort of bold. Uh, notice there's a little bit of uh, solid text come away there, so it's it's like a bit yellow, yellow spot. So I'll touch that up uh, later. So I'm pretty happy with that. Probably go back, maybe do the odd bits. Uh, obviously, a bit of touching up to do with those spots of uh, arisen. Okay. So uh, yeah, that's about it with the uh, the weathering of the uh, of the rock faces. So okay, so we're back at the quarry. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed part one of the construction of the uh, the quarry face. Um, so we've run out of time, really. It would have been too long to add the scenics on uh, this week. So uh, what I'm going to do is put that in next week's video along with the uh, the weathering and uh, rusting up of the quarry building. So that'll be next week on next week's video. And then part three, we'll be covering the final 
construction of the, the, the quarry yard. So the more stones to add, more weathering, uh, grasses over where the grey trucks are. So we'll just be finishing off the scenics on the, uh, the, the, the quarry yard. Um, okay, so uh, the video's uh, going on a bit. So time-wise, so I'm gonna say uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's free and uh, it enables you to keep track of the channel and uh, you get uh, a heads up when the next video comes out. So uh, that's it from me. And uh, yeah, see you soon. And uh, goodbye from uh, Settle Carlisle 68. Okay, see you soon. Bye.